Good morning. So this is the fit we're working with today. Shout out, buffed up. DNC Turlock on gear. We love them. Um, pretzels. Because I'm hungry and I've already been up for a while. Anywho, um, we're hitting the legs with our dear pal Corey today. So yeah, we'll probably start warming up soon and then uh, hit that with him. So we'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, so here you can see Corey's starting our front squats with warming up via bar weight only. I'm also talking to George who doesn't love the camera as much as Corey and I, but that's okay, we still love him and his taste in music. Um, I also started warming up with just the bar weight and then from there we progressed. You'll eventually see we jumped to 95 pounds and then 135. Also, can we appreciate that I hit this warm up set with my Rapunzel hair down? Okay, thank you. So what you don't see is this transition conversation between Corey and I, where Corey turns and says, hey, Mary, do you want to hit front squats bandit? And I say, yeah, let's do it. And that's what ends up happening. So we dropped the weight down by quite a bit. I talked about how I was going to die here. And then we practiced the different parts of our lift with the different resistance levels because of the bands. Great exercise. Need to do it more shout out Corey for introducing this to me and also forcing me to practice. Here goes Mary, we got my sets. So we're doing three sets of 15 to 20 with like short breaks in between. Just enough to kind of catch your breath and go. So if you have to like pause to get back to that 15 to 20 rep range, whatever you hit, uh, you'll just take small little breaks throughout your set. So say you do your 15, your next set you get to 10, you take a small break, you get to five. Then the third set you get to 10 take a short break again hit two take a short break hit three but we're just trying to match that 15 reps 
How are you feeling? I was feeling like, until like 24, 25, and then I was like, this is gonna be bad. Yeah, that's why you don't go that high. 15 I, to 20. I said it to 70. Oh, she put the weight too light. That's her fault. So I was like, okay, 70 should be fine. So and now, we'll now she goes, she's gotta hit that. She's gotta hit that 15 to 20 ish again. Oh, 24 to 25, I think is what she said. So we'll see how she's doing here. She's just going straight, no pauses on this set, that's for sure. Let's get a close up on her face here. That's what death looks like. <laughs> When you're lazy, remember she's only <laughs> using 70 pounds, so it's not like she's going super heavy on it this. Is, it is pretty light. So it's pretty light, but yeah. the way that you do this rest pause, it, it makes it a lot harder than you would think it is. Like, this last set, I'm going to be fine. Yeah. So we'll go from this to RDLs, and then we'll finish off with leg extensions today. Just to get that nice eccentric. So we're not going to go the 5x3 heavy. This time we'll go lighter and really focus on that eccentric stretch. But she's, she's feeling it right now. Let's go. Is it 20? Come on. So here you can see we're doing the RDLs with the barbell like Corey talked about. Really going slow, kind of mix it up with how we focused on speed, or at least I did for my set. The first set I did slow, eccentric, slow, concentric. The next set I focused more on a pause at the bottom. And then my last two sets I kind of mixed up. Eventually you'll see I even stepped back to the edge of the platform to do an elevated toe to target the hamstring and glute even more.
Okay, so we finished our workout with some around the world using a kettlebell. Corey went a little bit heavier and then did a kneeling variation while I chose to do a lighter, quicker standing variation to focus on grip strength and tightening the core while I stand. Then you can see I superset it eventually with a plate. I use a 25 pound plate, also training grip strength in a different fashion. So that way I can train forearm, hands, and core all at the same time with this exercise. post gym walk get some steps in handle some client stuff and then probably gonna shower and do lunch and then maybe do a little video editing before consultation work later this evening so yeah um probably will post this video later since um you know we're gonna have a longer day so, just be on your toes. Alright, what's good guys? Lunch is a little late. Client work took me a minute. Well, a little bit of that plus also some new recipes posted up on the website. So, go check out Self Strength. If you have access to the index, it's going to be up. Um, and then we'll try to keep continuously posting new things more and more. Something I was craving this week was more seafood into my diet, so I picked up some imitation crab to go with this crab spinach artichoke dip. Instead of just filling my lunch with this dip, I'm going to use the dip with the flavor and mix it with even more imitation crab to get more protein in it. And then my veggies for right now are going to be cucumber and carrots on the side. And I'm going to make a little um, bell pepper boat with my crab mix. So we'll show you the finished product in a second. And I'll try to calculate out the macros as best as I can, or at least a close estimate to give you an idea. Okay, finished product. Slice my cucumber, portion out some carrots. Shredded our imitation crab mixed it with two tablespoons which is the serving size of the dip and then i also mixed it with two tablespoons of plain non-fat greek yogurt to increase a better consistency slash texture with my crab mix and that's lunch hey guys busy evening with clients so i just kind of rushed to throw some dinner together since i didn't meal prep in advance we've got some pre-cooked pre-seasoned steak that i'm working with and then i threw together some roasted veggies with bell pepper zucchini ran out of onion so that's no good but that's all right and then on the bottom did a base of mixed greens and then i also threw together a avocado some greek yogurt and some salsa to make kind of a sauce for it so yeah 